Hiya. Right, welcome to part two of this um, thing, this update. Um, so this is just series I've left to show, which came from various corners of the internet. And um, one I'm delighted to finally get a hold of. And now there has been a new wave of traditional heavy metal band. Um, and I know Cloudy Milder has talked about them and I think he's seen them live in the past um, and they have been around for a good few years um, and they're from the West Midlands and England so they're a British, they're the new wave of the new wave of British heavy metal if you like um, um, and this is their debut album. I've got all the releases on um, CD, because I think uh, CD is the only physical media format and there's no vinyl at the moment anyway. Um, so I've got all the releases on CD except for the debut full length um, and now I have it because the band managed to uh, get some reissues of um, The Lightning Dream. So there's a bit of a glare there. And um, so this is Fury. The band are called Fury. They do have a 2020 release out and if you don't have that you need to get it. Sort yourselves out people. If you just love traditional sound and heavy metal um, with uh, great vocals, just crispy clear instruments, solid songs, uh, enjoyable to listen to then you need to buy this uh, band's material. So, um, but I went onto Bandcamp and pre-ordered their reissue. Um, so this is the 2020 reissue of The Lightning Dream, which originally came out in 2014. Um, and it's self-released, not on an actual label. Um, and the track listing um, has a bonus track down here um, called Holloway 2020. So you have the original Holloway here and they've obviously re-recorded the 2020 version. Um, so fantastic traditional heavy metal um, from a new band. Um, absolutely fantastic stuff and there it is. Um, I highly recommend them. Um, I if I recall, I'm going to leave a, a Bandcamp link below, so if anyone is interested, they can go and check them out. Um, so that's uh, another uh, British heavy metal band. Um, now, I know Cloudy has um, mentioned these guys before, and he's seen these guys as well, um, but it was actually um, in a recent video that um, Vinyl Hazard, um, Daniel in Sweden, he had uh, shown them, which kind of uh, alerted my, got me alerted to them again because I think I had scribbled them down somewhere um, and it wasn't until I actually got the album in my hands that I remembered, I'm sure I've heard about these before by someone else and that's when I went back on Facebook and on Cloudy Milder's Facebook page he had mentioned these guys and I thought that's where I've heard of them before. Um, so yeah, this one is Rune Master, name of the band, and this is their album Wanderer, and uh, it's a very dark cover, so that's like a forest, the trees here, and uh, that must be the Rune Master here, I think. It's quite tricky to see, I have to confess, in the, in the darkness. Um, now these guys are actually local, they're from Edinburgh in Scotland, which is even cooler. And so I thought, yeah, I have to get this album. Um, so I went and sampled them on YouTube after I saw them on Vinyl Hazard. Liked what I heard. Found their band camp, ordered the album. Um, so this, again, this is a 2020 release. Um, and it's a very good kind of traditional heavy metal with elements of power metal and... Um, but what it, what, what it has, um, in a similar way to Kursk, I thought, the band that I had recently mentioned um, in a wee kind of promo type video, um, I think there's a very um, dark um, do 
doomy kind of vibe, um, a very dark vibe to to the the atmosphere of what this album produces. Super bass guitar playing on here. Um, again, very crisp, clear vocals. Um, very crisp, clear um, sounding instruments. Really well done. Um, but it's very moody kind of sound. There is a, a mood to it. Um, and it is just very good heavy metal, basically. Again, it's another uh, new band. I'm not sure how long I've formed back in 2007 originally, but they didn't do anything. It says here from uh, 2009 to 2013. They went on a hiatus or something. Um, so this is the first full-length album. I think they've released um, a, a two or three EPs before, um, and this is the first full-length album, and it is excellent. Really atmospheric, moody, dark kind of. Um, so and and this is on this is on a Raf Raf Child R A F Child Records which is a German label, because um, when I ordered them, uh, it came in for Germany. Uh, this one took a little bit longer than most stuff coming for Germany. It was about three weeks, I think, for it to actually get here. So I was starting to get a bit concerned, but I got here. Um, highly recommended. Again, another new wave of new wave of British heavy metal. And the third one, again, new wave of new wave of British heavy metal, if you like, or new wave of traditional heavy metal. Another UK band, Cell Sword. Again, I sampled these guys on YouTube, liked what I heard, decided I was going to order the album. Um, so, Cell Sword, I went onto their band camp as well. And this is Unto the Breach, which is their second full length album. Um, now, Unto the Breach, uh, sorry, Cell Sword are from York, um, the city of York, down in Yorkshire, England. Um, and this album is kind of um, power metal, heavy metal, traditional heavy metal, power metal, but um, there's very much a kind of a Viking type vibe to the atmosphere on this album, which is quite fitting um, because if you've ever been to York, you'll know it's um, very Viking influenced history. Um, you know, it's, it's basically it's a, a medieval Viking style city. It's totally one of the places to visit if you ever come in the UK. Um, once so this pandemic's finished with right enough. Um, I wouldn't recommend you going anywhere than now, but, <laughs> but do check out York if you're ever around here. Um, so the, they themselves, the band themselves, call it mercenary metal, <laughs> apparently, according to their band camp. So I went on there, ordered their uh, record, and again, this is self-released. Uh, this is not on a label either, uh, but it's very well done and uh, nicely presented again. Uh, and just very good, again, really nice, uh, excellent guitars. Um, that's the, the band members. Sorry, I forgot to show a little bit of the booklets from the other two. I do apologise. Um, but for the sake of time, I'll not go back because I'll just probably prolong it. But this is a uh, this is Cell Sword. Um, yep, so Stuart Perry, James Stevenson, Henry Mahe or May. Tom Keeley and Tom Warner. Um, trying to think, is there anything else I needed to to uh, mention here? Um, lyrics, etc. So yeah, just great, you know, traditional uh, power hinted Viking hinted elements to this one. Um, three great uh, British heavy metal bands that I uh, highly recommend it. So moving on from there, um, again I was just uh, finding, just finding all sorts of uh, interesting bands going around, and the next one I stumbled across on YouTube, and I thought this band's really interesting. Now I wasn't a hundred percent sure because I think 
some of the vocals sounded a bit kind of slightly on what you would might call harsh or um, growly in places perhaps um, but the music um, and the guitars, the guitar tone just grabbed me um, and, and the music is so melodic um, and um, this band here is who they are and um, I might, I'm not sure of the pronunciation exactly but it's it looks to me like Heidi Volk or Heidi Volk H-E-I-D-E-V-O-L-K Heidi Volk um, and I think it's Dutch for something like heathen folk or heather folk something like that um, now these guys are from the Netherlands, they are Dutch and the album title is um, that there, god knows how you pronounce it, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it but in English it means, because I've got their Wikipedia here it means from old ground is what that translates to in English um, a hugely enjoyable release combining aggressive metallic riffage with tastefully entwined traditional folk instrumentation and melody and yet yeah, it's folk metal, this power metal, folk metal, hint of viking metal about it. Um, this is their third studio album, this band have a few um, albums as well, they have about seven or eight I believe. So this is the third one and they do sing in Dutch as well, um, not English, they sing in Dutch which doesn't detract from the, the enjoyability at all. I, I can listen as, to albums where they sing in their native language and um, that doesn't bother me at all. If I like the songs, it's good enough for me. Um, so this one came out in 2010 and it's on Napalm Records. That is the back and there is the band and um, looks to be six piece and um, so yeah there's there is folky elements about this and uh, there's the CD kind of cool artwork as well and um, that's what that looks like without the CD in there but yeah very interesting and uh, as I say the guitars and just very melodic in places solid but melodic, uh, great riffs, just very, just something that really I took to, a little bit different, you know, um, there's one of the guys there, so you've got lyrics and stuff which would be no use to me whatsoever anyway, but it's good to have, um, they seem to dress for the part as well, very medieval kind of style. Um, so it's a nice booklet, very nicely presented. There's the uh, uh, centre fold picture of the band there. Um, so yes, yeah, some really good stuff. Um, if you're looking for something just a little bit different and you kind of don't mind a bit of folkiness, check them out. They are on YouTube. That's Hide of Oak. Brilliant. Um, this one you'll definitely know. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a wee while, um, I picked up another copy of Bonfire's absolutely fabulous Temple of Lies. This is this limited edition digipack version. I wanted to get a copy of this at some point because on this version only, the digipack, you get an extra track. Uh, track 12 and it's uh, Friedensreich 2. What's, the, what's German for the number two? Zwei. Zwei? Is that it? Friedensreich Zwei, the return of the Zunzler into the TOL, which I assume stands for Temple of, Temple of Lies. Um, so yeah, track 12 is not on the vinyl and it's not on the standard dual case issue. Um, so I didn't, I want to thought, I'll see if I can get a cheap one. And this was reduced on AFM Records website. I think it was also reduced on, was it Nuclear Blast? Because I, I remember I picked up a couple of seats, so it's either AFM or... Anyway, it was reduced on one of the sites, and so I threw it in the basket. And it's just nice to have. So I've kind of got the two CD versions, and I um, have two vinyls. I've got the red vinyl and the yellow vinyl of the sample. <laughs> just 
just had a couple of extra copies. Also reduced was this one, which was on my want list. Um, I could have got the vinyl earlier on, but the vinyl's kind of sold out, and it was done on a splatter type vinyl where it was orange and red and yellow with a kind of an eye centre um, on the on the record label in the centre. So it looked very vivid. Um, but I wasn't sure if I liked that personally, just the look, the general look. Mm -mm. I would have been happy enough with a black vinyl version, but that didn't seem to be there. So um, I opted for the limited edition digipack, which contains a bonus CD as well in here. Songs from the Vault is the bonus CD, and it's a bunch of demos from 2010 to 2016, which I think will be quite interesting to hear some of the Bloodbound's earlier works. So this is War of Dragons. It's the previous album to their latest release, um, and this one came out in 2017. Um, the latest came out 2019, just last year. Um, again, look at the artwork, fabulous. And uh, again, a nice, you know, the digi packs seem to be becoming very popular. And there is the eyes for your. Um, let's see if I can turn that around a little. Um, yeah, there's your eyes on your discs. So very good stuff. Excellent power metal from Sweden. Absolutely fantastic. Um, another one I picked up which was reduced was this band who had kind of interested me because I knew there was members of Blind Guardian that were involved in it and if I am correct, let me just, yeah, and the vocalist, although I think he's left the band now because he's now joined Firewind, but on this album it is Herbie Lyons and he's been on uh, the Avantasia stuff recently. So this is Sin Reed and this is, uh, hang on a second, let me close that window. This, this Got some info up, keeping me right. Uh, discography. This is their second album, Sin Reed Shadows, and uh, this was released in 2014 on AFM Records. And as the uh, hype sticker there says, the new force in melodic power slash speed metal, and that's exactly what it is, melodic power slash speed metal. It's, a lot of it's very fast paced, but this is high quality, excellent. And Herbie Langans, you know, if you've not heard the guy, he's got a great voice, superb, uh, strong voice, ideal for, for the type of style of metal um, that he's involved with. He's, he's great on uh, Moonglow Avantasia. And it features uh, a couple of guys from Blind Guardian, the drummer, uh, who is Frederick M.K. and Marcus Siepen, who is, he's also left now because of conflicting schedules with Blind Guardian, so he quit this and went back to Blind Guardian fully. Um, and I've listened to this and it's excellent, really enjoyable, fast and furious. Um, similar, I guess, in description to Torian, the album, but this is this is better. Um, this is just better all around songs. Just, um, I just prefer this. Um, it's just higher quality to me. So um, there you go, another digipack. Great stuff. So I recommend these. And again, on one of the websites, <laughs> good for it, 20 minutes again. I threw this is a blind buy, and I threw this in after checking out what genre there because it tells you on these websites you know whether they're traditional metal power metal thrash metal symphonic metal whatever um and it said they were kind of power metal uh, melodic power metal and because this was only uh, this was reduced as well it was only a fiver i thought i'll toss it in and uh, then i went and sampled it on youtube a couple of tracks that sounds good and so it's this band here winter storm and uh, so this album here, let me just close that window down, Winterstorm. Um, and this is their third studio album called Cathiron, I think that's pronounced. Cathiron, which apparently is a place or 
or a, a, an asylum. I think it's maybe a um, fictional place, I'm not really sure. Um, but there is the uh, booklet, the band and the CD. Um, and these guys are power metal, yes, um, with elements of folk, epic and medieval, it says. Which is about right, there um, is indeed folk elements about them as well. Um, but this is very upbeat, uh, very feel good, very melodic, um, but again, solid power metal. Um, really enjoyable. Just wondered what was. Uh, just rubbing on my hand there. Um, excellent stuff. Um, so this is Cathiron. These guys are from Germany, another German uh, quality band from Bavaria. And they've been around since 2008 and they have about four albums and they are on Noise Art Records. Don't know how well you can see that. Um, but yeah, and that's the track listing. Really good stuff. Another thoroughly enjoyable record. Um, I would recommend them to And so for five euros. Definitely. Absolutely. So that was another good find. And <clears throat> uh, another 2020 release I picked up. I got this one. I just grabbed these, this one off Amazon actually. Um, it's just recently been released and it's on Frontiers. That's right, it's on Frontiers, people. Uh, great album, absolutely great. Um, and this brand here is Rising Steel. Um, the album came out on the 4th of September and they are a French band and absolutely fantastic. French uh, traditional slash power slash speed, um, even hint of thrash metal mixed in. Um, yeah, that, that's what the description kind of was when I was reading about them. Um, so I'm just looking at the. Yeah, that's what they're um, influenced by the new wave of British heavy metal, hard rock, and thrash. But they you know, and they mix it up very nicely with power metal as well, and uh, and speed in places. Um, great singer, um, just great guitars, great riffage. The chops, I've got the chops down. Great. Um, I don't know too many really good bands come out of France, but this has got to be one of the ones to look out for. One of the newer ones. Um, but yeah, and it's on Frontiers. Really um, solid act. A good sign, and I think Frontiers have landed here, um, and that's a track listing. I just really enjoyed this, um, because unlike, you know, all the other power metals where you've got the soaring vocals and the epic highs and the fantasy lyrics, um, this one was a little bit more kind of down-to-earth, traditional metal, um, a bit more uh, serious sounding maybe, um, but still just, I don't know, uh, maybe it was the, the, the elements of thrash that, that were mixed in that just made it just have that little bit of different flavour about it, but um, excellent stuff. I really recommend this as well. Um, do pick it up. Rising Steel Fight Them All is the title. Uh, even though it has a very power metal looking cover with dragons and uh, warriors and all that stuff. Um, skulls on the back here. Just, um, but yeah, it's it's just a, a good mix of a few styles and they've blended them really well to kind of bring out their own style and um, that's how I would suggest. But they're on, uh, check out some of the tracks on YouTube. And last but not least, while I was on Amazon, I pulled the trigger on this because um, it's another Avantasia. Um, this is the um, Lost in Space EPs Part 1 and Part 2. They've both been put together on a single CD set. 
Um, so I thought I'll just grab this um, because I my intention is to get everything Avantasia. Absolutely adore the stuff. Um, Tobias Sam up there. So and some of the guests on this one. Um, this one you've got Eric Singer on the drums. You've got Amanda Somerville, Jean Land, Michael Kiske, and Bob Catley are some of the guests that feature on these two EPs. Uh, and again, it's great stuff. I haven't got around to listening to this all the way through yet. I have heard a couple other tracks, but I've not heard the whole thing. The opening track, Lost in Space, is brilliant. They do a cover of ABBA's Lay All Your Love On Me on here. Now, I've heard that as well. Um, it's okay. Um, but, it's, it's you know, it's not as good as ABBA's original, to be honest with you. Um, but it's all right for what it is. It's a pretty decent cover. Um, and there's another couple. They're dancing with tears in my eyes. That's a cover of somebody else's. And I think there's another cover in here, which I can't remember off the top of my head. If it's a Freddie Mercury in my defence, maybe. I can't remember. But anyway, um, it's Avantasia and it's quality as far as I'm concerned. So there you go. And... Lost in Space Parts 1 and 2. Oh, just the covers are a wee bit stuck there, and there's the inside. So that is my September collectings. Um, I've just recently had a shipment in from AFM Records of a bunch of sale items again, um, so that will come in a future video. Um, maybe as quick as tomorrow, maybe not. Just depend on how I feel but um, another thing I wanted to say is I haven't been too talkative lately um, but do know that if you leave comments I do read every single comments and I will acknowledge them by the thumbs up or the, the heart thing saying I love your comments or whatever um, I read every one of them and if it actually warrants a reply to a specific question. I will get around to replying. Um, it might just not be right away and if I don't reply to all the comments at the moment it's purely because I'm just... it's how I've been feeling lately. I've felt really quite drained the last month, very tired, um, etc etc. But um, I'm not ignoring you. I'm still here and I'm still watching your videos as well. Even though I may not comment on them all, I am trying to keep up with as much as I can. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you all in another video. Bye just now.